Let's begin by taking a look at these five kingdoms. Monera, Plante, Protista, Fungi, and Animalia. Question. Would you place viruses in any of these five kingdoms? Very good. The answer is no. Why? Reason? Because viruses cannot be placed in any of the five kingdoms of living organisms because they show characteristics of both non-living things as well as characteristics of living organisms. Why do viruses appear to be non-living? Well, they are able to form crystals and survive in this form for many years. However, the human immunodeficiency virus, which is the HIV virus, which causes AIDS, cannot do this, right? Another reason why viruses appear to be non-living is that they do not respire. And finally, they cannot reproduce except when they are within the cells of a living organism. Now let's take a look at the basic structure of viruses. Number one, viruses are extremely small. They are actually smaller than bacteria. Most viruses are so minute that they can only be seen under an electron microscope. Number two, most viruses have regular symmetrical shapes. Some are spherical, some are rod-like, some are spiral, and some even have tails. Number three, a virus consists of a central core of nucleic acid which can either be DNA or RNA covered by a protein coat. The virus that attacks bacteria, known as bacteriophages, can either have DNA or RNA as their nucleic acid. Viruses that affect plants contain only RNA. while those that attack animals may either have DNA or RNA, but never both. 5. Normally DNA is double-stranded and RNA single-stranded. In viruses, the DNA can be single or double-stranded, and the RNA can also be single or double-stranded. And finally, viruses are considered to be non-cellular or acellular since they have no nucleus, no ribosomes or no mitochondria.